So we were just talking about storage types. Now let's talk about the actual storage services that we can actually uh, launch uh, or utilize within these uh, storage types under storage accounts. And there are five core storages available to us. The first is Azure Blob. This is a massively scalable object store for text and binary data. And it also includes uh, big data analytics through Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Um, and so uh, Azure Blob is really great because you just don't have to think about the file system. You just upload files and they're treated like objects. So well, that's really nice. Then you have Azure Files and this is a file share. Uh, and so the great thing about Azure Files is that if you want to have a bunch of virtual machines and have it so like they have um, the same file system sharing all the same files, that's what you're gonna use that for. Then you have Azure Queues. To me, this really is a database, but for whatever reason, it's under uh, storage accounts and it's a NoSQL store for schemaless storage of structured data. This is another unusual one. Uh, I don't know why Azure puts it under here, but um, it's a messaging store for reliable messaging uh, between application components. So to me, that's like an application integration service, but Azure categorizes it as storage. And the last one is Azure Disk, and this is block level storage volumes for Azure VMs. And so the idea is that when you want to do the top four or the above, you're going to be launching storage accounts. And for uh, disks, you're going to be launching disks. It's a bit unusual because um, one of the storage accounts say that you can uh, use or store disks uh, in, I think, version or uh, uh, general purpose version two. I'm not really sure I understand that. Uh, maybe it's talking about like backing them up or something like that. But anyway, from a practical standpoint and for what we need to know is that this is the breakdown here. And we do have a full section on Azure disks. Um, so we will get into that.